to be sure you're getting the most out of your retirement for all the years of your retirement? That's the primary goal of More Living with Jim Brogan and our Dollars and Cents segment, where we provide you with an important financial tip that will help positively impact the quality of your life in retirement. And now here's Jim with this week's Dollars and Cents tip. And the question today that I want to answer is, uh, how do you get good growth on your investments without taking too much risk? What is the best and, and what is the best way to make a lot of money? I'm a big believer that the best way to make a lot of money is to not lose a lot of money. And the reason is because of the cruel math of losses. You know, if you have $100,000 and you lose 50%, you now have $50,000. Now, if you have $50,000 and you want to get back to $100,000, you've got to make 100% where you lost 50%. That is cruel math, folks. If you lose 25%, you've got to make 33%. Uh, if you lose 33, you got to make 50. So that's, if you lose 40%, you got to make 67%. Y'all, that's cruel math. Now, if you lose 10, you have to make 11. If you lose 20, you have to make 25. That's starting to get a little bit out of whack, but it's still doable. But the best way to make a lot of money is to not lose a lot of money, especially when you're thinking about retiring or if you're already retired. I mean, think about if you've, you know, you have those kind of losses and you're drawing income from that money in retirement. You know, in addition to it taking so long to make those losses back, You've got, you're compounding your losses when you're taking those income distributions from your risk accounts, your, your accounts that are going up and down, which, by the way, is not the way you should do that. We're going to talk about income planning. If we don't get to it today, we'll get to it the next financial show. But um, the best way to make a lot of money is to not lose a lot of money. That's true for me in my early 40s. That's true for you if you're 25. And it's true for you, especially if you're 60 or 65 or 55 or 70. Um, and actually, history has proven that we can take less risk with our stocks and mutual funds, okay, and get greater returns over the long haul if we know how to do it. We're, we're taught we can't do that. We take more risk, we get greater return. Not so fast, not necessarily true. 